come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and germs, to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, which happens every Saturday night. You can find uh, the archived episodes on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, Podbay FM, anywhere that you find podcasts. You can find this. You can get a hold of us at facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show or on Twitter at Sat Freak Show. And you can email us Saturday Night Freak Show at yahoo.com. If you comment or ask us a question on any of those platforms, we'll read your comment later during Igor's mailbag, which is coming up after we talk about the movie. So let's start with the internet radio superstars. Travis. Sean. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight, since we're going round robin picking movies, I picked tonight's movie. And it was called Sorceress. Dun, dun, dun. From the year 1982. New Lightning, New Thunder. Directed by a guy named Brian Stewart who doesn't exist. Does not. <laughs> so we just found out Brian Stewart is actually a... Combination of uh, Roger Corman's son's names, Brian and Stewart. Actually directed by Jack Hill. Jack who... Hill, who did uh, Foxy Brown, which we uh, watched. Uh, Coffee, Coffee, Big Bird Cage. Switch Jack Hill, he produced sisters. a lot of the AIP stuff, right? Well, he, was, he directed a bunch of their stuff. Yeah, Roger Corman produced right well this was new world pictures right so after oh. he jumped ship with uh, I'm AIP. Of Jack Nicholson, but i know what you're talking about yeah <laughs> yeah i know it's so it's that's why i always get it confused i'm like who was aip was uh, that roger corman it was roger corman but that's nicholson but and arkoff nicholson and arkoff but <clears throat> corman directed and produced a lot of those right. so they were yeah yeah so corman for everybody who doesn't know is a Famous producer in the 1960s because it's famous 60s and now, 70s, sir. Famous now because he would, uh, well, famously, I think what it was a little shop of horrors or a bucket of blood or one of those movies. He like came up with a title, had a script, and shot the movie. I think all in the space of like two seven days, days, days or something. something it like was that. like a little shop of horrors was written and shot in two days <laughs> just because they had a a set that's like we're still gonna like we finished shooting this movie early. We Which got is why the it looks like a days. stage play, right? Oh fuck yeah, yeah. But still, that's you know, that's that's There's old a fashioned for movie this making, movie, and we're just gonna give them what they want, which apparently is how this movie came about. Oh yeah, what after Conan, like they're just like, <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> all we need is loin cloth, tits, and fucking. <laughs> I can oh, write it in a week. Oh my says god, Jim yeah. Wynorski of 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 uh, Sorority House Massacre two fame and many of the things we read a list of his works on previous podcasts. Yeah, he became a director, mm-hmm. but this is the first thing that he ever wrote. Did he direct? Was there a Sorceress 2 or is that Sorcerer 2? There no, there's a movie called Sorceress, Sorceress <laughs> that Jim Wynorski directed okay. that has Linda Blair in it. Yeah, nothing to do with this. From the 90s or late no, 80s? That was late 80s, I think. Yeah, but it has nothing to do with it. So he yeah. used the same Oof. title twice just to confuse the muddy the waters a little bit. <laughs> of I don't know what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you were talking about Conan. So we need to like do we need a little primer on fantasy cinema up until the point of 1982? Because well, was there fan- I mean cuz we had you Hercules. Yeah, you had your Sinbads and Hercules with the Ray Harry House and you know, I mean they spent money kind of mm-hmm. on those type of almost what would be the same thing as the sword and sandals of today, you know, the Gods of Egypt would have been a Ray Harryhausen movie. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then... Maybe then people would well, have Her- seen it. Well, the Hercules movies, those are like... I can't remember Hercules? what the guy's Steve, name. Uh, Rex, Steve Reed. Oh, yeah, Steve Reed. Steve Reed movie. Yeah, because yeah. he was a uh, muscle muscle man or something. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Weren't those Italian movies? Were I think they? so. And, but, uh... But I remember- then what? So then they figured... Because, I mean, then things got a little special effects-y, but then... What, with the Conan, with John Milios's Conan, it kind of, like, especially using a, a famous bodybuilder as your barbarian, you know, mm-hmm. that's all of them, the Barbarian Brothers, and, you know, oh, they yeah. just fucking whipped out all these movies about barbarian people just because all you needed <laughs> was, like, loincloth, very little swordplay, 
uh, yeah. some sheep and chickens running around. You just go shoot, shoot in the <laughs> desert of Spain or Mexico right. or, something. or something. Or just yeah. in the woods, fucking the woods with a smoke, you know, fog machine and like, it's the Black Forest. You know? just, <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll never cross that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like, imagine what's in there. It's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep wondering where Conan came from. And I mean, to me, it has to go back to Star Wars, that somehow Star Wars made fantasy cinema like, Legit, but mostly science fiction in the late seventies, right? Maybe that or somebody Superman. Said, and somebody said, "You know who? We, what we haven't dealt with in a while is sword and sandal movies." Now we have the special effects to actually do to make people you know, glow. Yeah, and but, turn but even Conan. What I mean, whatever. yeah, they had the big snake and the transformation, but even Conan really wasn't like special effect. Heavy. Which is why that movie is so fucking awesome. It's oh, why yeah. it holds yeah. up. It's like it still works because the special effects are understated. Yes. There's magic in that world. But they're never actually like flinging spells at each other, right. and that made everybody think we could do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like no, yeah, it's like subtle shit. Well, that's because their idea. Because it, it always seems like, like you said, yeah, the Star Wars. Because more so than Conan, it seems like everybody else tried to use some sort of a. Anim- cell animation sort of like here's my wonder fucking arrow that glows and, yeah. or Lucio something it's like oh my god conquest yeah uh, exactly conquest yeah. <laughs> it's got an awesome chick with her tits with fucking the, the sun mask that that goes outside before the sun rises and she stands out there and acts like she's raising the sun so all the stupid like cavemen tribes I was like that's genius that's a genious bad guy we've thing talked to about do. this movie before yeah just because that's the great I, that's yeah. the golden the nugget the I found in that movie yeah it's Colin like, dude. watches his movies so we don't have to <laughs> yeah fuck yeah. it was pretty Ooh. fucking yeah. bad but I mean the uh, I but guess like what Clash of the Titans was probably the last of the. Well, that's the last uh, of the Harryhausen movies, right? With the stop the motion big and budget animation, fucking. Well, he actually was able to do in a way that I think people enjoyed, you know, through his late '70s Sinbad movies and before that with the Jason and the Argonauts, and mm. uh, you know, was a Sinbad and the the Seventh Voyage of Sinbad, and then there was Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger, and uh, and then there was Clash of the Titans, right? And like. That had to be started in, like, 79. It came out in, like, 81. But that was, you know, we had special effect uh, or fantasy creatures. I guess you had, like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, your Krakens. And Medusas. The, yeah. The, that you couldn't the pull off any other Jason way at that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then Conan took the other tact where it was like, we don't need to have really any special effects at all, and we can pull off a fantasy environment. And then everybody, it seems like, said... Dude. Let's make a sword and sorcery movie. And mostly Italian. It was mostly Italian people. Yeah, that your just hunter out. from the Gold. future. I feel like that's where the colors oh, come from. The outlaw of gore <laughs> movies or whatever. Yeah, yeah g- gore. I've always wondered, those are the book <laughs> series. Is I've always thought it was called G-O-R, gore. Yeah, they were shot at the same time. Oh, they're terrible. Because it's oh, about like this modern day professor who goes oh, through a, a time <laughs> yeah. warp and ends up it's as the outlaw fantastic. of it's, it's like the... Uh, We've uh, never gone wrong with a modern day professor. A kinetic. Oh, dude, you know who it is? It's the fucking guy from Demons. Oh, the shit. lead guy at the end with the sword on the oh, motorcycle. No fuck. Yeah, he's. Dude, uh, I'm going for really? it. Really? Yeah. Deathstalkers. You guys seen the Deathstalkers? No, but see, that's that's more of like where we're headed to with Sorceress, uh, right? Oh, <laughs> dude, Deathstalker. Death I mean, the, Isn't Sorceress. That also, Wanorski movie. I think so. Uh, he did Deathstalker two. Deathstalker yeah, two. That's what Death I'm Death thinking. Deathstalker yeah. two is Death the two. classic out of the Deathstalker <laughs> series. Deathstalker two is what fucking what really everybody. Is it Barbie Benton in that? I have no. idea. Yeah, okay, dude. so so here's, here's where these movies come from. I'm going to narrow this down. about around here. <laughs> there was I want, a, you watch uh, these movies when you're 14 and you want to see yeah. tits for well, any reason the, at all. The, you're the just cover like art, the cover art of the poster art for all of these things. They Boris use Vallejo. like Boris Vallejo and Frank Frazetta, who were, were these guys who did like the cover paintings for all these Conan dude, books and yeah. fantasy video novels. games. Well, they're everything. still using them, yeah. yeah because dude, Boris Vallejo is genius. When you think of fantasy art, that's not you know Lord of the Rings or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, you think of like the, what these guys painted, mm-hmm. and so all of like the Deathstalkers, the Warrior Queens, the Barbarian Queens. Yeah, the, you know, they queens. all had these paintings. Fantastic and you're like, covers. It's like some muscle bound dude with a sword and like. Some some half naked right. woman, you know, and they're in a swamp, and there's, and there's a creature a, uh, that you're never gonna see in the movie. And you're like, and this maybe looks a leopard. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, 
then you see the movie and and, huh. and this is where <laughs> where movies when you literalize and actually see people doing you know trying right. to do these poses it somehow <laughs> collapses the fantasy well, cause, that's cause, created by this magnificent art. Aside you're from like, like I want to like, see this movie through their eyes. Oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> right? That's why, I, like, I always say, hey, comic books are the better medium than anything. <laughs> better than books because you can see what's going on. Better than movies because you can actually have these fantasy worlds that don't look ridiculous. That would be great if we could somehow come up with a drug where it's like right. filmmaker vision, and you flip yes. a switch, the room floods with a gas, and then you can see the movie in the way the filmmaker saw it when he was making well, it. Well, there was. It'll uh, turn uh, into the poster. I don't know yes. what happened to this, but Robert Rodriguez Acid. became like the custodian of the Frank Frazetta estate somehow, or whatever his art where he puts on like uh, if oh, South really? by Southwest does like a Frazetta museum. And he bought the rights to the animated movie Fire and Ice. Awesome, Bakshi. Which was, Ralph Bakshi did it, but it was based on Frazetta paintings. The only thing is, when you see the movie, it's Bakshi's animation. They couldn't, you know, it doesn't look like an oil painting. Or sure. Anything. But <laughs> I heard that Rodriguez was doing a motion capture version of it that was going to try and look like a Frank Frazetta painting. Tense. But that was like Literally. five, six years ago. And <laughs> yeah. unless so he's it'll still take working him another on 10 that, years to figure it out. It's not because he's directing. Uh, he's working on the El Rey TV network that, you know, what is he doing another movie? Dude. Oh, Battle Angel. Yeah, Alita. Alita for Cameron. Yeah, so what happened to Fire and Ice? Uh, there was a deal yeah, signed with Sony that they were going to distribute it. It probably ended so up like, looking where like is 300. The fucking movie? It would. It would end up looking like 300. And that fucking sucks. Because, I, I mean, I just don't want it to look like 300. I want it to look at Rosetta. Yeah. Not, you well, know. that's why I was hoping that they'd come up with technology to somehow yeah, make it look like that? a moving Rosetta. But, like, aside from, I mean, the problem with all the older ones is, like, aside from Conan, they never got big dudes to be like, he's a barbarian. It's like, well, he's an athletic-looking dude. Well, he's <laughs> it's like, fit. Yeah, a barbarian? <laughs> yeah, he looks like he jogs. And, you know, <laughs> he can do some pull Or yogs. Or... Yogging. I'm yes. Oh, we forgot Silent Beast Jay. Monster. <laughs> Beastmaster. Oh, Beastmaster. Yeah, yeah. Fucking be- See, that's what I'm pissed. Like, why didn't we watch Beastmaster? Like, <laughs> that's at least a classic and corny. This is just like sorcery. <laughs> like, eventually we'll have to talk about this movie, guys. And you can tell <laughs> we're doing everything not to. Because <laughs> it's like, what is there to talk about? Well, there's two. Uh, beautiful chicks who are two is one, or it's like a double mint fucking. <laughs> yeah, so these it's Lynn and Lynette Harris who were Playboy uh, playmates oh, at one point. Oh, were they? So that's what Shocking. they were cast in this movie. I was uh, shocked. Uh, yeah, so in my pants. In the beginning of this, oh yeah, yeah. Hey man, in the no beginning of this, it. tell us how you feel. We're introduced to a character, the villain of the piece. His name is Traegon. Which is awesome. It's just... Is it? In a red it's cloak. so villainous. Come on, Traegon. The, 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 There's that the, tra sound. The guy liner this guy's got on? Oh, yeah, that guy liner. I don't know. I've Bat seen some Scara. guys. Just... Yeah. The Traegon is the evil sorcerer who has somehow... Impregnated a woman. He impregnates a woman, and she gives birth to twin girls. Which now he this, doesn't know. This screws no. up his prophecy because he's promised that he will a- execute his firstborn to the god Kalgara. Uh, Kar- yeah, Kalgara. Uh, Cal- 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 it was Cal- 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 Calgara. Calgara. Cal- Calgara. Calgari. Calagra. His cabinet? Um, I mean, anyway, yeah. what we're talking about, folks, is Parishna. fantasy alphabet soup. When exactly. When you just mix together, like, it's let's Caligara. see. We'll take a, okay, what are threatening, threatening um, sounds? Uh, we need S's, K's. We need K's. K's, T's, Travaknin, whatever. <laughs> Corso, like, uh, something. Ah, uh, and like, so. What was that one guy's name? My dad owned a car catch, like catch all or catch Catchcom or whatever. Catchcom. What was it? Yes, it was Catchcom, Catchcom. the robot yeah, catch. friend. Uh, Hello, I'm here. Which one? Yeah, which uh, one? Cronus. Well, Cronus. Cronus is the. the he's, I thought he was really supposed he's, to be yes, the father, because he shows time. up, and I thought he was the father of the two. No. He's but just he, like the wandering like wizard, the but he's, he's like still the, he's he's the keeper like, of the prophecy. Or something. Yeah, he's, he's like dr- the Moses of the fantasy world. He really is. So weird. He's just, but he's like, he looks like he's wearing Indian beads. Right. He's a hippie. He looks like, yeah, he does look like Jesus or Moses. He wanders around with a staff, and he shows up to protect these two girls from Tragon. Now. In that initial, and I don't want to break down every single scene in the movie, yeah, but Jesus but Christ, there is we, something please. in the in the initial <laughs> scene where he says, "Like what what life am I about to take from you?" You know. So apparently, these two wizards get three lives. Awesome, you seen. do right, right? 
If, Isn't that if the... Dragon, um, if, if uh, in, dra- in Dragon, in, they God say, damn it, what's the name of that fucking movie? Dragon Slayer. We do find out in The Wizard, uh, he's too old to travel. So, this is a spoiler, so guys. I'm sorry. Don't uh, spoil it. They haven't oh, seen shit. it. Well, Nobody's seen that movie. Everybody's seen Dragon Slayer. No, they haven't. It's oh, fuck forgotten. you. If, you gotta you, bring if it you're back. listening to the Sorceress uh, <laughs> podcast, you should have seen Dragon Slayer, one of the good, uh, like, high-budgeted, yeah, oh, great Yeah, when Walt Disney movie. got involved. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Yeah, you guys. It's <laughs> yeah. great. It's got the dude from Ghostbusters 2. Oh, yeah. Peter McNichol. He's, he's the hero. The pull pick. Oh, yeah. damn. I want to see a it's movie with him movie. as the star. Yeah, right. so, he's the, at some point, we will bring that to the show. We'll talk about it. Bring it to the show. It's so great. I love that movie. Wait, that or Ghostbusters 2? I was confused. Oh, Dragon Slayer. Can we watch Ghostbusters 2? Maybe later. <laughs> Tonight, I after mean. Not after. Like, yeah. 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 Not for this, no. But maybe later. Um, well, Cronus, the wizard, the, the wizard. Gandalf-looking fellow, saves the... Uh, kills Trigon, one of his lives. Well, He's not going to come one. back for 20 fucking years. And no, he- the... Woman does the mother oh, yeah. right oh, because yeah. he he's actually fucking up Cronus with his like green stare like right. my my evil eyes. This is after yeah. her uterus was taken with a claw. Oh my god! Something. Yeah, thank you for co- like I was like <laughs> Jesus. Christ. It really was. Like, oh. Why not? Yeah, why not just kill her by the bird warriors? They had to rip the, her the uterus of birddom. Yeah. I don't know. This is that's weird. Yeah. It's it's so weird. so claw. yeah, she was the one that was like, "He'll be back." Take her motherhood. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. <laughs> well, the, it's like the the forest. There's a haze over all of this. Yeah. But the gist of Tragon, instead of it. not instead of talking, I'm sorry. Instead of talking about the scene, so Tragon has a baby with a woman. He doesn't know that he has two until like whatever he picks one up more and crying. then like, what are you hiding, woman? Yeah. And uh, there's Which two one of them. Why are the your first breasts born? crying? <laughs> so he doesn't know who the firstborn is. Why are your pre- <laughs> so somehow he's got to determine which one's the firstborn. But yes. Cronus takes the kids. Well, you know, after Trigon's first death has happened, Cronus takes the kids, very Obi Wan Kenobi like, and delivers them to a, a farmer, and farmer. basically says that he, he's going to be looking for these men warriors. But they're no. or no, no, no sorry, he's, he's going to be looking for the girls. girls. They're girls. So Make we're sure they don't know. As I men. will. Damn it. Yeah. Cut to 20 years later. And we won't even tell them the difference between a man and right. a female. That's what they fuck up. We it's like, like, they should know they're girls. We'll psychologically but fuck them. Show that they're girls. Like, that's what you want them to do. What? Like, they won't like, know they should, that they should, a, I don't know what you should, wanted them to do, but I thought the way that it played out was just <laughs> fucking perfect. Just perfect. <laughs> they literally don't know that they're girls, even though, so they're skinny dipping and they're being looked at by like this satyr looking. What was that scene it, with like, a, what's that he's got between his legs? The, the kid? It's a horn. <laughs> but that can't be used as a weapon. That's a great scene, actually. And they kick him in the face and before I was just up. worried it was going to turn. I was like, don't fuck this thing. God damn it. Ugh. Uh, That'll be so distasteful. <laughs> we come to that line a few times in this movie. We're just like, eh, we're. We do yeah, well, because were you going to bestiality? That well, was a I very mean, horny satyr. Well, I, just, I mean, yeah. when you get to that, where well, bestiality hangs out on that a, line with other things. But isn't that what a satyr does? Don't satyr use it feels like, like music it is, they and tempt, shit to they like? Uh, I mean, later on, he is dancing with the three women out of nowhere. That's why it's kind of like a devil analogy of devil seducing yeah. and all yeah, that. Yeah, he has jazz. a pan flute. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of yeah. what they do. Yeah. Yeah. So he's but this very one doesn't horny talk goat. at all, which I've never heard. I've always thought satyrs were normal creatures. He I could probably buys. talk. He just goes. <laughs> he's got his mouth like. <laughs> it's really ridiculous. It's so fucking ridiculous. It's hilarious. The whole. <laughs> I don't know. If it's the whole goddamn time. He cuts him. You just hear a little <laughs> in the background. Yeah. Really it's weird. Oh. Very weird. The most fucking annoying character. I want to know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Played that so guy. annoying. And I don't we know. already know that, in, you know, when I die in the age of the dragon, I'll return. And we just go there. We like go right to right, a temple. Hard cut to twenty years and later. It's like there's right. a sundial, and they're like, "It's the age of the dragon." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> like he's yeah, back. Right. And there was that really weak scene where like the people were like, "Oh no, the power of Trigon!" No. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, really was like, oh. it looked like they were doing more of a like a miming the wall, <laughs> like kind of like yeah. no. Well, you know that the the acting in this movie is so subpar. Oh, like oh. right off the bat, like. But, their line readings. Well, but this they is, say line readings, but is it all bad like, ADR and not necessarily the actors? Because who knows what they sound like? We yeah. just know all this stuff. Oh, like, no. apparently, I'm they sound, apparently, they all sound Spanish because there's mostly Spanish actors. It was shot in Mexico City. Yeah. That's oh, what I'm saying. I don't yeah. think. 
Well, it's all English look, ADR. But part of the problem is whenever you get, and this has always been my problem with fantasy movies. Like I have a high buy-in level at, at fantasy because they. Talk, <laughs> I watch Xena. Well, I, even what? what Warcraft just came out. Oh this no! Past, oh, uh, you know what? Huh? Oh dear lord! I just said, oh dear lord! Yeah, no, the Warcraft movie, and I saw like a trailer for it, and it's like this, where people yeah. walk into rooms and start <laughs> talking about shit, and you're like. What in the holy fuck are you talking the about? The Cranar like, Crystal. Yeah. I mean, Over yeah. the moon of Talos. The, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, what do they call it in Star Trek? Just a tech, uh, techno babble. Techno babble or yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's yeah. just like, you're oh, heightening throw the world. Like, so it, it feels, it's, it's supposed to make it feel like it's a lived in world because they have all this mythology to and they, Yeah, they reference it at, sure. with just knowledge. Like, oh, they know exactly what you're talking about. The m crystal. It'd be great yeah. if that, like, whatever they're referring to just changed names every time they mentioned it. That's funny as <laughs> fuck, dude. We'll, well do that's that. what's going to happen on this podcast is we we'll to explain yeah, yeah. some of this oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, that's the bit. Yeah. yeah. By the fangs of foul <laughs> <laughs> Or something. <laughs> I think that actually does happen. That might oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, because, okay, the of course, just like Conan style, their parents have to die from, like, the evil. This is what I don't get about the whole, like, hide them as, hide them as men. Because it's like, so, Tragon comes back, <laughs> Tragar, Tragon, whatever, <laughs> comes back as, uh, as promised. And then they just know this guy has the two is one or whatever. Right. It's like, like why, how the, the fuck do they know? Because what's the they've point? been what's looking the point? for 20 years and they finally figured well, out. What's they the point? But the like, they're, they're like, make sure this doesn't happen. But they all see them for the other thing that is completely identifiable. Of what Yeah, it's be. not about the woman. Like, it's about it the act matter. two is one. Two is one uh, is what they, gives them away. They, they go to the bathroom women. together. What they, did that matter? They even show that they fight in, in synchronicity. Because that's something that Kronos or Kronos or Krona. Krona. Because at first I was Kronos, Kr- the yeah, Zeus, be, uh, you know, right, yeah. father of Zeus, but I was like, no, it's Krona. Krona. They're just taking uh, something else from mythology <laughs> and just like, I know, an A instead of an yeah, OS. Right. Yeah. Ha ha, brilliant. My own world. Modin. Yeah. <laughs> Modin. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, he said Modin. He said Modin. By the power of Modin. By the power of Modin. It happened. Zeus. Thorn. Thorn. <laughs> oh god, it's terrible. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, and gosh. but the line readings, Slow I key. think, are guys trying to say this like really stilted, <laughs> you know, uh, fantasy era. What do you call it? Like it's like it's middle like middle age, just like Elizabethan sci-fi fantasy in a weird way. Yeah, yeah, that. and they just can't. What is thou's? Dip, dip, dip. Right, yeah. Well, they all talk like Yoda, you know? That's the other thing that I think goes into that. And it just sounds really weird, and then the whole thing's dubbed. Dubbed in a way that Oof. where characters aren't even talking. No. And, oh, dude. And this the is dubbing, below Italian dubbing. Yeah, and the guys are speaking. They don't, they're don't. they not even trying to match the lips. Yeah, and I don't know if that's just trying to and explain more. Maybe they're like, this like, movie's too silent. It's like I, the speed is off. Like, they, they said the exact same line that comes out of their <laughs> mouth. But they're like, they're not looking at the screen. It's like, right. all right, these are your lines. Just say them. Yeah. I do and then think they that's sh- like, put them in there. That's like filmmaking by the numbers. When you put together your product and you're like, oh, the audience says it's boring. It's too, Maybe it's too quiet. Let's just add some lines. Yeah. You know, we to, don't necessarily need them to match because they're going to be yeah, they won't the talk. women. They'll see that they'll the fighting. They'll, they've already paid for their fucking ticket. They're <laughs> fucked. It doesn't matter <laughs> if the words match the mouths. You yeah. know? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, Which I do love that. Like, I mean, that's... Ah. I did want to point out, I forgot about this earlier, but uh, Tragon does have a, like, so, has, has a sorceress. Wait, is she? Because the title of the movie is Sorceress, and so we yeah, we're trying, trying to, figure to figure out, that like, out. how that comes into play at all. But there Maybe, is uh, this woman. Maybe Calgon or uh, Calgary or the well, Calgar. Woman who shows up the deity. Yeah. The, but the, there's the, this woman who, yeah. in her dress and all that, looks like oh, a Boris great. Vallejo. She is great, right. dude. That I'm like, oh, beautiful. That's why you make these movies. Yeah. Put them in some, like, Arabian Sheer. shit. You show a little yeah. under boob. That way it's just like, oh, fuck. This is a little, like, it's not <laughs> it's not porno, but it's just like, oh, dude, under boob. Or lots of see through. It just has you. Right, yeah. Like yeah. I said, this is for fourteen year old guys. They're oh, yeah. just like, Arr! or guys of any age. Sorry, yeah, I'm, yeah, sorry no. that we subjected you to yet another hey, flesh uh, fest. Uh, whatever. 
Yeah. Right. Oh, you're talking to her. Flesh fest. <laughs> Flesh right, 2016 Flesh Saturday Night Flesh fest. Flesh fest. <clears throat> That's what it's all about, <laughs> man. It's all about cheap thrills. It's like yeah. we've got no money, no story. I know, it's exploitation. Violence and boobs? Yeah. That's what we know. We're going to see fantasy <laughs> shit, and there's going to be naked women. I it. want lasers, and I want boobs. Yeah. But you do wish there was some kind of a... Story? Cohesive, like, you know, at least, at least these movies try to be like, you know... He's the prophecy. Like, we don't even know why the two-in-one. We just know, like, what, Krona has power, some kind of power power of whoop-ass, I guess, right? He's the blue power of whoop-ass. He's like, I'm instilling it in you. Yeah, so he downloads. You'll be the two-in-one. Some type of warrior. uh, uh, That's a a fucking ninja movie. The copyright 2016. The blue power of whoop-ass. Yeah, so he downloads his knowledge of fighting skills into the, well, the girls when they're babies, but then again, after their parents have been killed, and he shows up looking like... uh, like uh, the, Zeus, and yeah, older yeah. Zeus, God, <laughs> like or Moses. Uh, Moses, yeah, and then he walks into the fire after Which imparting is, this. Uh, that pisses honey. me off he's because like, he's like, it! Remember this word, uh, and I'm like, Is he dying right now? What happened? Like, all of a sudden, he's just like, oh, I'm getting weak, and I'm like, Oh, he's dead. Why is he dying? It's like, the what I was hoping is like, Remember this word. Uh, Rose yeah, but, wait, what word? Whenever what hope Rose is lost, bud. remember Rose the word bud. like Valeria. That's not it. Val- 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 something Val- like that. Val- 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 it's it's this Italian. is going to come into play in the third act of the movie. <laughs> oh, dude. I, which I forgot about. I really did. Like, right. it's so, so it is kind of a stupid. surprise when they bring yeah. it up. You're just like, oh. I'm like, that's right. They were given a word. <laughs> a word to end the movie. <laughs> it did so well. <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap it up. Show yeah. the no end. more story. <laughs> yeah. Well, they're, they're one helped. word to end them all. <laughs> they're helped on their quest by because of these movies, these kind of stories. Because you have to pick up killed. the. Uh, the, what do you call it? Not a guild, a no. party. The party. Yeah, right? a, 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 a traveling band or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they I'm meet up with a, a goat. A guy who, well, oh, you got a dwarf yeah. who's not a dwarf. He's a, yeah, a dwarf that's not a dwarf. He looks like a dwarf. Everything but he's a barbarian? At, he's a barbarian. Yes. Everybody's a barbarian. And then they meet up with the actual barbarian, and I get Conan stand in. Kind of looks like Cats from American's Greatest Hero. Oh yeah, William K. Yeah, because he the kind of looks hair. like him. I Just a more muscular him. version. What was his start, name? Start with a B, didn't it? Know, no, it was no. uh, it was Yorick or Elric, 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 Yorick, Yorick, Yorick. I don't know, Yorick, Yorick. But that actor looked familiar. I thought Yorick. See if somebody Ehrlich. knows. Ehrlich. Ehrlich. That's it. We're go. gonna get through Ehrlich. fantasy like, uh, soon. Like I think they might have had a few versions. What was the? Do we know if he's from other movies? Baldor. Baldor. Baldor the dwarf. Yeah. Yeah. Barbarian? They say Baldur. that. Yes, yeah. I promise. I don't believe you. Baldor. That sounds Baldur. like. I promise. Baldur's Gate. That's a fantasy video game. <laughs> it's Baldor. Which came after this? Baldor. So. It's way after this. Ehrlich. Yeah. But so we, it's possible he's been in other Do stuff. we know if that barbarian guy's been from other stuff? Know. He looks Probably he looks really Jim familiar. Right? He's got a thing about him. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah, he's a cute guy. They show his ass a lot in this fucking movie. <laughs> There's some shit for the ladies. Too very comedic effect. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, she liked it. <laughs> Holly does see. Very, you could tell. <laughs> very enthused. But there She's was not the very tan. But for the guys, there was the scene where the girls find out that they're girls. Oh, that was great. <laughs> they have to wash up, so they take their t- tops off, and Ehrlich and Bomar go Bomar Bomar How did you not know that you were a woman, or didn't you notice the difference? And they didn't know either. The guys didn't know. They're wearing like the short dresses. They have obvious boobs, and they're like, "You're women." What? Yeah, nobody found out until this point. Yeah. Baldor was calling them lads the entire it's time. One of those like, things nobody where, like, sees this. If you just didn't wear a dress, they're just didn't, they just assume like, oh, it's a guy, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be they dressed wear skull like a woman. caps. Right. Yeah, yeah, they had the caps, short Fine. hair. I mean, yeah. shorter, like you know, what? And they weren't showing their breasts until then. Then it became yeah, obvious. The mini skirts didn't give it away. It's still stupid that they didn't know they're women. It's like they yeah. had a father. It's like they didn't understand. Why is that different than us? It's because like that never came up. I don't even think. For, uh, did you ever have that conversation in, in your life? I just saw like, well, I'm not that. That's obviously something else. <laughs> like, you know, I didn't need somebody to say like, you're a boy. 
This is a girl. I never had that conversation. The, I'm sure that conversation. Between yeah, what's, boys and girls. Like, no, what she's do you a mean? girl and you're a boy. And yeah. That happens. I don't know. I saw Sean, you have a little boy. Just be really. I've really, had that conversation. Yeah, like then. Like, but, but I think it's back weird. when I was a kid. I just recall saying, you know, the whole like, well, they obviously, that thing obviously has long hair. Were you pointing to naked hair, people? Like, was this like, a thing? <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's like you're two years old going, well, that is different than no, what I have. I, like, I, I, I just think you automatically saw, like, a feminine, you know, like, Where I saw, you? like, <laughs> I had He-Man toys. They had, like, how, just houses and cookery shit. I'm like, that's mm, what? Cookery. Not, you're not into action? And, like, I mean, the action different... figures wouldn't really give it away because it's like, well, no, that's the same. Well, no, that's the same. Plus, yeah, I had He-Man and shit. I knew what a difference between a boy and a girl was. I watched He-Man. <laughs> Did your He-Man? Oh, I was going to say, do you yeah, He-Man and Shira. He-Man, he he yeah. yeah, fucking Tila and all that. Anyway, right. off on a rant. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's stupid. <laughs> like, some, at, at some point, I think some knowledge, like, is self like uh, like you obtained? It. I don't it's think more entertaining like, for the movie because it's true. It, it almost goes a, on in a awkward, long, yeah, awkward scenes. situation. Oh, that's not the most awkward. It's like, do you not know the difference <laughs> between men and women? It's like, oh, uh, yeah, weird. show us. <laughs> just well, like, mo- that's what it felt like. They're just like, well, here. Yeah, well, I thought that bar- well, yeah. the barbarian guy was definitely. But you know that's a I guess that's a fun scene, right? The chicks just start getting stripped to take a bath in front of the guys, and yes, the joke is good for like one scene. I don't even know. I don't even think it's a good joke. I just like it's the, not. The that's what makes the of, four uh, scenes that come after that involve it a little weird because it just makes the characters like fucking. Dumb. Just dumb. Like, I thought yeah. we were birds. What? Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's so stupid. Yeah. Like, no, they do come off as completely naive, but they're awesome fighters. Oh, they kick together in synchronicity. Yeah, and they can, like, knock oh. down 14 right. arm And that back to back arm length thing. Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah, yeah, very yeah. Adam that. West. Because everybody fun. gets kidnapped. Zap, boof, whiff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all get captured at some point by the. Uh, the Trey Gons guys, yeah, because he's they're gonna figure out like Starting which one of them was the firstborn. <laughs> oh, that's right. The, oh, yeah, the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, and they just burn her face. And fire, yeah, because like, yeah. the. The yeah. whore betrays betrays them, right? And yeah, she the turns one them whore in, in the brothel yeah. yeah. where they meet yeah. the William Cats. <laughs> William Cats, <laughs> uh, barbarian. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the other thing I like Just about call him these types. Guy. It's, it's like the guy from Star Crash. Uh, that's what David Hasselhoff. Yeah, no, no. Well, uh, Marjo Gordon. Yeah, Marjo Gordon. Yeah, dude, that guy might even be Deathstalker too. I don't even. know. I gotta see that. I swear to God, that guy looks famous. That wouldn't surprise. That's a Winorski movie. Yeah, he might. He tends to take people and just like. And he's really good. I wonder. Could someone can Google? It'll take oh, I'll, I'll look him up. Who are we talking about? The uh, barbarian the, the William Cats, the curly haired blonde dude. Ehrlich. 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 For now, I knew him well. now that we know his name. You're like Ehrlich? Yeah. So, so they get captured. Wait, what? Well, they know the, uh, they know that like. well. For, since her face can't be burnt, <laughs> that means she's the firstborn. Because that's Apparently. what that means. My brother can't be hurt by fire because <laughs> he's older than me. <laughs> so we know he's the firstborn. But somehow they recruit. Because there's monsters in this movie. They have, like, these little gorilla men. Oh, uh, yeah. they're just always around from the get-go. Yeah, well, there's one always yeah. around. It doesn't, show them re- and- it doesn't show them recruited. You just know well, they're in the one, cahoots. Because there's the one that follows her. The her, what, the lady. She? The her. I don't know. Uh, sexy. Talissa? We'll call her. Yeah, the sexy queen. Sexy yeah. sorceress. Okay, she yeah. is the true sorceress. She's got, like, a little movie. minion who's the monkey guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, with the full animatronic face. Right, kind and then. Of. We find out later that they're also in the wild. Okay, yeah, this because is... he has to go recruit the other well, ones to army. capture the girl, yeah. and they throw laughing gas at uh, the coconut party. laughing gas. Coconut yeah. laughing gas. Yeah. Oh god, Fruit it doesn't get any. Gas. I'm telling you, like weird. you're listening to the, us describing. Dude, that's this what movie. I thought I was going insane. It's this awesome because these people are, they start laughing and then they're getting attacked. I'm like, why aren't the two scenes reacting to each other? I don't get why it. Why do you not? They're see laughing the, at the a joke. Twenty gorillas in the trees. I didn't get that the smoke was laughing gas or. Something. Well, she's like, I just why would you? And the goat's not affected. Huh. Mm-hmm. The kid, uh, Ehrlich, acted in four movies. Nice. This was his last one. Oh. I wonder why. <laughs> he did uh, Baron Dracula, uh, a lot of Spanish stuff. Uh, Golpe a la Mafia huh. in 1980. Okay, Mr. Poncho. Whoa. So he's a Mexican <laughs> fellow then. Uh, I don't think so. His he name is Robert local, Nelson. Local he's talent. Not, oh, Robert. He's not Dust Talker. Not uh, no, he's not Dust Talker. <laughs> Roberto <laughs> Nelson. Roberto <laughs> Nelson. Never mind. He is no. nobody. <laughs> he's just a good looking chap. And, and apparently, this turned him off to filmmaking. All yeah, well, like, I, I don't I'm like not it. Showing my ass. No. 
That's just, that spear came too close. He had, he had a hairy ass. All right, so oh, let's talk about say. bestiality. <laughs> I know it silenced cricket, the entire cricket, room right cricket, there. Cricket. All right, so there's the yeah, uh, right. The well, fuck? it's just We're not Canadians. It's amusing to me that this movie was you written by Canadians clearly a very horny reality. Jim Wynorski because both the sadder, he's like hot for the girls. In, oh, a, yeah. in an embarrassing scene that comes later, oh, which we're gonna, we're gonna describe for you in, in graphic detail, oh, and then God. also the monkey uh, has been promised the that, second born. Yeah, basically they're gonna kill one of the girls to bring back the Cal- Caligara. Yep. And the create, other one, they're going to give to the monkey Laura. to please himself with. Yeah, yeah. just to whatever. It's a horny monkey. To torture your heroes. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I understand that. I think that sure. is a, like, even me as a as a male, I don't know what it's like to be, like, a monkey raped or, like, you know, be victimized in that way. But just the idea that, like, this monster will have you is like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, like, that's disgusting. You know, yeah, that's just yeah. like, holy fuck, We can't nothing for you. Give yeah. that to the monkey. That's horrifying. Well, on the other side of super horny people, you have the princess. Yeah. Talissa, whatever, the evil princess. The sorceress. She seems to, like, just want to get laid like crazy. Yeah, but it didn't take yeah. that as far as I was hoping that it would go, where there was right. some to moments for levels. lines, yeah, where yeah. she could have said things, you know, uh, I can't think and of And an been example. turned away, and it could have yeah. been funny. And yeah. She tries to, like, you know, she's like, to... to Trigon, 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 Trigonometry. Trigon. I can do all this. The New Teen Titans. But women have other desires. He's like, but I can't. I've made a vow. I made vows. Yeah. So I'm like, she's gonna try and get with. She uh, just wants the D. Yeah. Because they capture. Because then she sees him and she's like, oh, hey. Oh, (laughs) Oh, this is wait. They capture Erlich and then they they try to impale him. On a spike, so which is kind of brilliant. Oh, yeah, it's like, it, it made, was excellent. That's it, why it's like this must have been how they did it because it's like if the fucking filmmakers came up with this, well, bravo, bravo. <laughs> that is the most torturous fucking Marquita Sad shit I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. I really was Greasing like up a pole, oh. handcuffing his like arms and like legs or whatever to the pole. And then putting a sharp pike. spear under his ass. That way he'll slide down the pole and the pike will slide up oh. his fucking ass and go through his mouth. Oh. That is horrifying. Every time it got naked close, when this I happened, so and it's it did, like, cringeworthy. Like, dude, it did. I mean, fuck oh. anything in Hostel. This movie, I was yeah. just like, dude, it's getting closer and closer. <laughs> no! Yeah, and this, the guy's like, wait, I'll tell me. you something. <laughs> 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 All right, stop. And she's all like, I don't, don't waste him. I want him. That's what, wait, wait, no, yeah, they that find out he's, they happen, find out he's right? royal blood. That should have had, yeah. They find out, they see his medallion yeah. that he was wearing. They find out he's royal blood, which they need to consecrate the virgin in order to weird. sacrifice her. Yeah. But that's what I thought they were going with. That she was going to yeah. be like, don't waste him. I want him. That's yeah. where I thought it was going. Because she takes him back to her yeah. bedchamber. Yeah. <laughs> and it seems like there's going to be a seduction. <laughs> and you're like, where's this going to go? Like. Because I thought, like, this guy was going to get lucky twice in one night. Yeah. And somehow he was going to have sex with the princess. Because he's Ehrlich. Yeah. And then, yeah. Well, because that's how awesome fantasy works. Right. <laughs> the evil queen fucks you, and well, sure. you get the princess. It's kind of the dominating, right. it's like, you know. It wasn't my fault. She fucked me. I think yeah. that's where me. those characters Survival. really come from, right? right? It's like men are always the sexually dominant. To, so to have a woman be the sexually dominant, you're like, oh, you know, like, <laughs> like this is, you know. Yep. Let's get to know each other a little bit. That's yeah, yeah. when the man yeah, gets a little conservative, like, oh, <laughs> you know. He's covering up his other pecs. Like, wait, just wait. Fresh. Tra- <laughs> Travis is actually clutching his pearls yeah. right now. <laughs> no, that's, you're clutching the bathroom together. It's like, you know. <laughs> Madam, please. I don't, I don't feel comfortable right now. <laughs> yeah. But I, I love those characters because yeah. uh, there's something to that, right? That's kind of that's no, actually I think like that's it. It is that's it's what the male Wonder Woman character is. That, the Wonder know. Woman character is a superhero character that is sexually dominant over man. You know, mm. yeah, that's that's fantasy. And well, this this leads uh, see, to we like empo- women empowerment. <laughs> this leads to one of the the funniest scenes in the movie oh, intentionally, oh I think, God. because it they turns out to. that the two no, was girls sexy. are it able to. Sense everything that they see through each other's eyes, and they can feel everything that happens to each other. <laughs> yeah. to each other. So while Ehrlich is uh, plowing the trenches, yeah. well, first hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, well, first, <laughs> like they've the the firstborn and Ehrlich have been kidnapped, and they're being fed this green uh, liquid it's called Celine or something. So, like Soma. 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 Soma? Anyway. Something like that. <laughs> Once again, the, the it's, alphabet it's, soup. It's, it's like it's Salon. The, it's the Mountain Dew of the yeah. gods. <laughs> it's the Mountain yeah. Dew of the gods. Yeah, it's the brainwashing liquid the that, they're, the that they're drinking so they can, you know. 
We'll just get some under his sway under or something right, like yeah, that. So like, well, yeah. it's supposed to be and, like, you know what? I know getting fucked and being sacrificed sounds bad, but <laughs> drink a little bit of this. Well, just yeah. keep going. Be right up your alley. Yeah. You'll totally see what we're doing and here. So and the, 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 the sorceress, Empress, yeah, yeah, she talks she, them into it. Yeah, she sends Ehrlich over to this. Like, go, go, go do that. Forget me. Yeah. I don't want this. Like, you have to make love to her. Yeah. And you're then different. sacrifice her. Which that's okay against with. every sacrifice you've ever heard about. And it should be a virgin. I, in real, Exactly. Virgins get sacrificed because there's power in them not being, you know, blah, blah, blah. But blah, she blah. has to be seated with the seed of a, of a royalty. But then why royalty. kill her? Uh, because, I don't get it. Because, because, because Kaldara, Kaldara, yeah, Kaldara wants said, it. do it. Doesn't make any fucking sense. It's because I'm just saying. How are they? There's a lion pterodactyl later in this movie. Oh, don't even! You're jumping ahead, sir. Jumping ahead. You just confused our audience. (laughs) Not that it wasn't confusing right when it happened. But but, I'm just saying. Yeah, you need need, the only reason you sacrifice a virgin is because they're pure and honest. Right, right. That's right. It's supposed to be. That's that's what's been told to us over the years. Well, because that's the slide against God. If you're dealing with a oh a demonic force. The slide against guys, the killing of the pure oh, one pure, yeah. or something. Blood, sex, magic. That's also why the guy don't fuck. Because yeah. they have power, like Rocky the Boxer. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you don't fuck. Yeah, no. but, oh, women right. weak in legs. Yeah, but in this, it. in this case, in this case, it's it's combining the DNA of the the deity. What's his name? Trigon. Trigon. The sorcerer. The sorcerer. Because yeah. they're, the they're royalty, combining him and the royal blood, and then that combined is the sacrifice, which is gonna. It, yeah, they'll get more power. It's going to invoke the the god. The- but what's the power behind his royal blood? Who is he related through? Yeah, somehow with his medallion, think- he's like from a line. Just of- your medallion. Well, because he said early early on he didn't want to go back to his kingdom. Yes. So it implies yeah. that he's kind of like a prince on the run. Yeah, like he doesn't yeah, want like, that. I, life. I just didn't know if there was supposed to be like. Oh, the reason he concede the god army, which I still don't get. Are they going to be an undead god army? I'm saying, is he going to like fuck her? They're going to kill her, and then she's going to give birth to an army from Krakor? Krakor? No, no, I think they sacrifice, bring up up Krakor, and then she raises the dead army? (laughs) I think so, yeah. I don't know. I yeah, because then they're supposed, supposed to, to come. Oh. Yeah, right, right. Oh. That's why they all come up. At that's the why. End. Why do they have to fuck her? I just don't get why they have to fuck because the princess. Because it's a fantasy. It film. is. I really think you're asking too much of this plot. Well, maybe <laughs> not. It's because fantasy. It all I need is to for know. Not at the end, yeah, if you have a fantasy anyway. story, I mean, that's why they anyway. have. That's why they have MacGuffins, and what? this shit should be easy storytelling. You should just We're say, so- <laughs> "This thing gives me power. We want to go after this thing. A prophesied child will fucking stop me, like every Bible fucking story in the world." We're still passing over the most awkward scene. All right, Holly's going to set this up. Am I? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. (laughs) Okay. So the twins share, they've already said they share visions. One can see where the other one is, so to speak. That's how they, you know. (laughs) When they first did battle, that guy goes, two and one. Or something like, no, they were... They were as two as one. Or yeah, right. yeah, two like, as oh, one. That's what yeah. they said before. That's why it was so easy to track them down because yeah, everybody's yeah. just like, "God damn, there's two as one." <laughs> <laughs> like, it seems so obvious. It's weird. So they've already revealed that they can see what the other one sees and, and think, think, think what the other and think yeah. what the other one thinks. But now we're understanding that they can feel what the other one feels, and we find that out because she feels it for like ten minutes. Yeah, <laughs> that seems to be. What it was happens. great. It was really long. And uncomfortable. Really long. It was like, God damn. Well, she's out. Moira, whatever. The Moira. other twin <laughs> is out in Moira. the room. It's with uh, Baldur and the horny goat man. Yeah. Yeah. And all, she's like, oh, I feel funny. Something like, what, what is this what feeling is this in my pain? loins? Which they had yeah. been saying ever since they met the barbarian William Katz. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> They're just like, I, don't I feel get it. funny whenever he looks at me that way. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Feeling they never had before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why am I so she off starts... my chair? <laughs> 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 Uh, it was a good one. Oh, yeah. It's disgusting. Oh, no. So oh. she starts moaning oh. and uh, oh, dude. groaning and having a full on. I thought she was going to start mad. And then, like, the two guys are like, What's are wrong? And they're like <laughs> looking in on her, like looking at it. I'm and like, like, are they going to stare at her as she masturbates? Well, he yeah, because she she's, was... she's like rubbing herself and she's like gyrating. And right, he, at, first, at first he thought that she was in pain. And then he's like, oh, pain? no. 
She's not in pain. Oh. That's your lick. <laughs> it is your lick. I know that anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's your that, that is your lick. That is your lick. Well, because yeah. that she, is your lick. Because she did like come in the first two minutes. He's like, your lick for sure. And like, then she's like, oh no, not again. And he's like, yep, yep. that's your lick. That's your lick. And the goat man is like so crazy yeah. horny. He's going to rape like, her. Oh yeah, he's he, going to go rape her. Stop. She is under my protection. So he runs off into the woods. He, he like kicks the dirt on her and then runs yeah, off into like, the woods. Like, like, like a dog after he yeah. like soils the ground He's or pissed. something. It's He's weird. Mad. Very weird. It's weird. Weird. Yeah. That's a weird scene. <laughs> and it's it goes on for like weird. ten minutes. Too, it's a maybe long too long. Scene. It's like it's all right, we got the scene. joke. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a joke. That was for like I said. This was fourteen year old boys come in their jeans, like watching this. <laughs> that was to give the like, that forty second street audience enough time to do what they need to do and then move on with the movie. Yeah. So like, she's clothed Ooh. while this happens. That's the only thing that uh, she retains her modesty. This Still, thing. this whole movie <laughs> has Indeed. that like I'm shouting at the top of yeah. her lungs. Yeah. It's a horn dog. It's, a, it's I'm a telling you. It, well, from what we know of Jim Winorski's subsequent very true. Oh shit, you're talking about Sorority House Mansion. Nighty Nightmare. Nighty Nightmare. Nighty Nightmare. Yeah. yeah. And you said, like, Blair. The Bear Wench. Bear Wench. Bear Wench. Bear Wench. Bear Wench. Uh, what? Yeah. An, a Paranocker activity. Paranocker yeah. activity. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Busty Cops. Busty Cops yeah. go Hawaiian. Busty Cops go Hawaiian. <laughs> Bear Jesus Wench. Why uh, everything uh, go Hawaiian? Cleavage Field. Cleavage Field. Everything goes Hawaiian. Just Hawaiian. Right? Everything goes Hawaiian. Jack Frost went Hawaiian, I'm pretty sure. Probably. That was the second one. Jason never went Hawaiian. He did. Yeah. We could still do yeah, that. Yeah, why can't know, we do yeah. that? That'd be like, poor still have, still He wouldn't look good in board shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the massive <laughs> climax machete. of this movie happens <laughs> when oh all God. of our heroes show up at the same place together. Uh, well, Moira arrives with the barbarians. The goat man brings, uh, like, the sheep. And literally, <laughs> literally, he brings the sheep. He, like, calls the town together. Yeah, yep. and, and the town is based... Than goat farmers. Well, wait, wait, hold on, well, hold on. Before he gets possessed. to that, like, I think they're about they're in the process of going to sacrifice the firstborn. Um, the first I porn. think uh, the the <laughs> second sister she shows up, and then they're like the monkeys there. Remember, yep. and he's like all horny for it and everything, and then they like she ends up getting sucked underground. Yeah, with Baldor. Yeah, and this the monkey gets all pissed off. She's like, "Ah, no, I have no time for your antics." Yeah, because he was he was promised the second right. Board, yeah, second. All the guys are laughing at the monkey because yeah. he's not going to get laid. <laughs> yeah, and so the sword, Baldor's sword, who is just happens to be sitting around, like the monkey grabs it and runs off into yeah. the woods. I'm joining oh, the yeah, good guys. Yeah, yeah. Now. Remember this? He has the conversation in whatever kind of animal sure. language. With the satyr. Right. He runs to the other monkeys. Who's dancing he, with three beautiful women. They're dancing around him. He's got his flute it's and they're dancing weird. around him. Again. Well, they're getting and ready awesome. to fuck him. Probably. Right, there's, a, there's a process to it. Yep. Yeah, that's what but they But then do. he gives him the sword and then he kind of marches on his way. He's like, he gathers the Yeah, there's that weird little, I don't even know. I don't it's know what stupid. that is. It's very weird. But I'm it's glad like you the mentioned Peter, the... Or the right, Pied Piper. He yeah. goes past the yeah. buildings and yeah. everybody comes out follow with me. their sheep the and follow him. Because he does have his little pan flute that they, yeah. don't, they don't actually play the ever, music no, for it. But you see him playing it. I think one time he's playing it. Like oh, he's playing in the movie. it. He's playing but it, but no, there's no audio. Mean, yeah, I know, for this scene. I'm just saying, one time earlier in the movie is the only time I heard pan music. I don't music. remember hearing it. But it's, I don't I know, know if it was when, I don't know, when people <laughs> were bathing, or I, it might have been his first yeah. scene or something like that. Sure. But I'm glad you mentioned the getting sucked under the ground, because that was my right. favorite scene. Like, was, if I was, was a good. kid, was cool. I tried to put myself in 13-year-old Travis's head, and that would have been Ooh. the scene that captured my imagination. Like, them being underground, they could, like, we're in the undergrounds, the where the, the ancestors or yeah. the catacombs. There's all yeah. these mummies buried. In the wall. For some reason, the catacombs are so far. There's a there's two fire pits. <laughs> right. There's smoke They're pots. close to the center yeah. of the earth. Yeah, we're just very yeah, mm-hmm. lava. But I did like how eventually those zombies did come to life and yeah. attack them. There was one yeah. cool shot. What was like? Uh, it was like three edited together shots of just like. Close ups of the zombies, but they had that nice, like, blue red lighting. And I was like, holy fuck, this is awesome. Yeah, that was actually my favorite scene. It was, it was awesome. It was in the catacombs. It was, it was in the it. catacombs, yeah. It was fun. I liked the that. The dead people. I just yeah. like, because that's something I zombies. feel like even yeah. is missing in today's Sword and Sorcerer. It's like, where's the undead army? Like, we have it in Game of Thrones. <laughs> For sure, but oh, it's, yeah. but it's the you know the, the white, walkers. white walkers or whatever. Right. But like at least like it's an undead army. No eyes, yeah, maybe. I'm all about the undead army or skeleton guys. And I would have fucking I'd actually have to say like despite everything, these guys kind of looked better than the undead army and army of darkness. 
But that's because Army of Darkness had fuck tons of an army. Yeah. Where these guys had like, I don't know. Some like, of these guys had 15. big yeah, heads, like 11. though. Well, Oversized yeah, like skull heads. Dude, but still, uh, yeah. look at Army well, but, of Darkness. I'm sorry, oh, dude. Yeah. Well, they had like I, they I, have puppets that they have like walking. In the I thought they looked good when they were actually like in like entombed, like yeah. when they were up against the wall. It looked more real, right? Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. And them all when coming they, out is very cool. It was that cool. was cool. It, when, are coming when they became off. more mobile, then it got a little more fake. But yeah. at first, that looked, that was really good. Yeah. I thought that was great makeup. It was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, this uh, is oh, just setting up the big whale. final fight in which the two deities. Oh, yes. Did we know that there were two deities? Mm-hmm. We knew there was Cal. Calgara. Yep. Well, we, no, we, we never. We knew, but we knew oh, of it. Vitaris. We knew, we knew a secret Vital. word. We knew the we word. We didn't know anything we about didn't know what, what it was. Meant well, or who the fuck. They're, they're on their way. What stops them from sacrificing her? Well, the girl down in the catacombs hears the voice of uh, Kronos, who's a Krona. Who says, remember, when everything oh, yeah. is the, as bad oh. as it's going to get, remember the word. <laughs> right. And she goes, Vital. 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 And the girl upstairs is being sacrificed like Vital. Vital. And that breaks the spell. Yes. So both her and Ehrlich are out of the Which, Yes. It doesn't the explain why Ehrlich is out of it. But anyway. Sure. But it also summons <laughs> Vital in Which the stars. Is a Liger. Griffin. Uh, bat, kind, of, kind of a griffin. A pterodactyl. Tiger. Griffin, bat, lion. Uh, yeah. It's a pterodactyl lion. An animatronic <laughs> effect. It it's a like, hand puppet. You ever seen, from, what like, I, from what I've read. I've never seen this movie, but I've seen the, the cover. Have you ever seen the movie cover called... Wizards of the Kingdom or something like that, where there's a kid on a blue. Yeah, it looks fucking kind of exactly like the first thing I thought. It's like Wizards of the Kingdom. There's this this lion thing. Well, actually, the one on the on the poster looks more like an actual lion. This is like the one on the poster looks like a tiger with wings. You guys have seen this poster? Oh yeah, yeah. It looks like a tiger with wings. Yeah, crazy. But this thing shows up with big fat wings. And a lion is just he's stoic. Yeah, he's, he's very, very like hangs very out with wow. stars. He's a god. <laughs> very but, like, I'm just gonna see what happens. Trigon summons rawr. Caligara by killing the, well, he gives he sacrifices royal blood being Talissa or whatever. Yeah. His the hot, sexy sorcerer. Uh, sexy yeah, sorcerer. just uh, sacrifices her. Yeah. yeah. Kills her and pushes her in so the So what fire. does that mean? Does that mean Caligara's less powerful or something? I like think what so. was that the only thing it means? I guess because somehow the ending that was foretold to us the like entire way through face. this movie still takes place even though he didn't get to kill the firstborn. Yeah. And then this gigantic head, head with half a half, lizard yes. kind of skin. <laughs> this woman shows up Maybe in the that's sky. To sh- but she like the shoots half power. fucking laser beams from her mouth. She does! Green laser beams! And yeah. explodes stuff from all over the mouth. compound. Yeah. What can what can Vitara do? Vital. Yes. Vital. He's got l- green lightning from his eyes. He shoots at her. Was it like blue? He force lightning. No, was it, was, it was a lesser green. It was uh, pistachio. Because I thought they were like they were blue. <laughs> it was pistachio. Their power is blue. Spider web type yeah, mm-hmm. just lasers. Sh- and Force lightning. Vaporizes her. Boom. Just She's like gone. that. Yeah. Blows it's just amazing. You have like this moment in the movie where anything could be happening up in the sky because you never see like the characters <laughs> reference what's going right. on up there really. Aside from the explosions that are sure, happening, they happen. There's nothing really to say that like that all wasn't shot later, right? right? For sure. Yeah, and just like, like nothing happens. Into Put the something movie. in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, this, I think that's part puppet? of why why Jack Hill wanted his name taken off the movie. He complained that the special effects weren't yeah. finished. There's shots where, uh, like, when you're in the market. And you see like a bunch of trees in the background over the top of the city. The city is as far as the set went. And apparently they were supposed to be like matte paintings or something oh, yeah. like mm-hmm. up above that. That Corman was oh, like, no, you like... don't need that. Like, yeah. look, it looks fine. That costs money. That yeah, costs money. We yeah, can't... And we got to have this gigantic tiger thing at the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah, we got to save money. Or that was that. in the tiger reshoots. Thing. I don't know. It's a, it's a hand puppet. Yeah. It's a hand puppet. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, like, I don't know. It's more of a lion. <laughs> Uh, look at that thing. We're looking at the poster oh, right now. What's that down? Is that the monkey dude down the bottom? Yeah. That feels like the monkey dude with an axe. That's crazy. We got a half naked woman. One woman. Being threatened by a monkey dude and with a an snake. Axe. It is like a, a, a low rat Boris Vallejo yeah. painting. Yeah. Yeah. 
The so, seems out of place. I don't know. To me, that's the movie. There's like nothing even no, more no, no, to there's that. There's a joke at the end. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh there's a joke. I feel like the whole movie led up to that joke. Probably so, right. I have a joke. Probably. Let's write a movie around it. Yeah. All right, so Sean's going to tell us the way that this, the, the great joke at the end of the movie. So, I mean, oh, they, wait, how do we kill Trey? They blow up Kaligara. Tregon oh, is stabbed. They, they, sh- they shoot him in the back with an arrow. Oh, yeah. Both the two of them are, the two that are shoot one. Him. Shoot him at the same time with arrows in the back, and he disappears. Is it his second life? Is it his third? We don't know. never know. Cool. Always okay. the uh, the doors uh, open. Doors You're open saying. for a sequel, and uh, I think uh, everyone's kind of hanging out. And then uh, Ehrlich comes out, uh, arm around waist of both uh, Tiffany and Tawny. I forgot their names. Maria, Maria. I don't know. Myra, yeah. Maria. Myla, Maria. Myla, Maria. whatever. Taffy Moira. Tina. Let's the, yeah, two. the, the twins. Yeah. The twins. The twins. The sorceresses. And uh, what one? does uh, was it Baldor or that says <laughs> uh, one wasn't uh, good enough? One, yeah, one wasn't good enough. It's like, don't you know? They're two as one. Uh-huh. Uh, two of them are one. It does make sense, though. If you're going to fuck one, one and the other's going to feel it, you might as well fuck one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess so. Might as well. Right. And I'm Imagine so glad. The possibilities there. And I'm so glad that right after that credits. <laughs> oh, yeah, There's right. nothing else <laughs> yeah, done. done. No. It's over. There are movies over that are made now and have been made back then where they would go on a little bit after that joke is made to see yeah. like where everybody ends up. No. Ugh. Joke made, credits done. Which that is what I like about Beautiful. old movies. It's like story's over, bye folks. That's it. Like who I gives like a that. fuck what happens after them? Monsters over. I don't need to be That's like. I mean, well, you may wait. Are until... you gonna go through with the divorce? <laughs> right. You may wait until uh, one Ferris hour and thirty eight in minutes into the movie Movie's for over. the climax <laughs> to happen. But as soon as it does, those credits are gonna start yeah. flying, yeah. which yeah. I was, I was great for me. It's like Surf get the line. fuck out. Yeah, let's give me the credits. Let's go. <clears throat> be done. All right. Well, and I guess uh, that's anything else to say about fuck, no sorceress. We're not still yet. not sure who the sorceress is, but okay. It was right. the princess. Ah, I don't, know. Don't, I don't remember what she did. She it was like sorcery. Though. She raised Tri Tragon. Yeah, but if she died, Tragon, Tragon, whatever. She did. I guess. I thought she he said, was... "Do we begin?" And they started well, banging on back. symbols. Whatever. And... Yeah, guys, I thought fuck. that was just prophesied that she didn't have to actually do that. She just knew where it was going to happen. I don't know. They Seems called her so... sorceress. Right, she just showed up. Didn't they? <laughs> yeah, oh, she was the she only did, person referred have, to as sorceress. She, sorceress. she did have that little liquid that they poured in the fire to see which. Yeah. Was, uh, that was kind of magic. She oh, was the one sorcerer. Spark. Just because she was referred to as sorceress, I'm all going right. with. She's the sorcerer. But she's like a uh, you know, ancillary character. It's just like, damn, all right, we're going to call it sorcerer. Although, apparently, yeah. according to what the, the information <laughs> is, it's like fucking Roger uh. Corman t- <laughs> went to a high school and pulled the students on the, the, the list of names he had for this movie and was like, what would you like it to be called? And they all picked Sorceress, and that's the label they got slapped on this movie. Well, they, so it he, doesn't yeah, really that have was, to... He did that before, I think, they titled... They even shot the movie, right? Uh, I was doesn't say like, when. Oh. I thought it was he went to a school and said, okay, of these 14 things, which one would you pay to see as a movie? So, he'd like, they got a title and then went and shot a yeah, movie? he ah, said maybe. Sorceress, and they're like, all right, that's what we're doing next. It doesn't uh, necessarily mean wrong. they wrote anything towards Sorceress, you right. know what I mean? Just like that one, people will pay for it. Right. We'll just, we'll just call it Sorceress. We'll put whatever the fuck in it. Lion <laughs> yeah. Pterodactyls, go. Yeah, that's awesome. Jim, go watch Conan, <laughs> yeah. and then... Take notes. Uh, you got a week? <laughs> Do it. Write me a script. A week and a bag of Coke? Go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it helps if you've seen Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Rip off some some moments. What? You're our father? They find out that Trigon's a father. Oh, it, it just shows you how well it's done in Empire Strikes Back that's at true. that moment where the hero finds out the villain. And they're very okay father. with it too. Like, yeah. you're my father. Oh, cool. Yeah. You look like two years older than me, but whatever. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You're well, pretty soon you he's came back. Plying her with the gle- green glowing. With the green, green uh, right. stuff, yeah. All right, so time to summon our mail carrier, Igor. Igor! Where are you? Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Okay, thanks, Igor. Thank you, Igor. No joke this week. Fuck him. Yeah, I'm very just, disappointed. This movie not, kills jokes. I'm not talking to Igor anymore. Uh, yeah, we're just we're not doing so good. All right, so Igor is. You guys br- haven't brought been his... working out. I thought things were going well. No, <laughs> it's kind actually. of a sore subject, this Sean. We probably shouldn't bring it up right now. Yeah, he keeps <laughs> leaving the lights on, and it's pissing me off. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Bravo, bravo. All right, so uh, what do you got, Karnak? Regarding our Watchers episode, Susan Darko writes in and says. 
Oh, okay. In the book. Okay, so we were wondering yes. why the fuck Did you read the, the monster books in was pulling people's eyes out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we had yeah. questions about this movie. Hopefully you read uh, listeners. Sounds answers. like yeah. it. So what? Susan read the book, and she says, in the book, it did this because of its self-awareness as to how hideous it looked. Oh, shit. And it oh. basically was pissed at people for seeing it. Oh, See, no, very that psychological. A lot. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That explains a lot. Does that make the movie any better? No, no, no. not at all. It doesn't even make the story <laughs> better. No. Yeah. It does make the book now sound more interesting. I'm not reading that book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's vain. It's a very vain monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ugly. <laughs> very self oh, No. What a dick. Uh, also about uh, Watchers, Crypticus writes in and says, uh, "Hello." All right, so we had posted a picture of the monster that that fleeting that is like fleeting, shows that, that one yeah. frame Three seconds. The yeah. only frame we had. He says, uh, "I remember there was a better shot in an issue of Fangoria back in the day, yeah. but the monster sucks so much it's not worth seeking out." Well, they you're just absolutely they right. Pulled that magazine off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, goddamn it, you ruined it. We need people to buy the movie. Yeah, yeah. the editor was fired that week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who released that set photo? <laughs> Check out our Watchers episode for even more information about Watchers and its <laughs> lack of a monster. Check out Watchers to see Watchers. Watchers. <laughs> All right. And G Money writes yeah, in money. on Twitter Abominable seems very freak showable. I don't know why, but I've always loved this flick. Jeffrey Coom- Combs and Lance Henriksen cameos oh. aside. Abominable. For those of you who uh, haven't no. seen it, it it's uh, Ryan Schifrin, who's the son of Lalo Schifrin. Lalo, who wrote the music, the Dirty Harry. Okay, we're we going to Amityville Horror. Anyway, right. is it about Sasquatch? The movie. It's about it's Sasquatch. It, it has Matt McCoy in it, who's now in a bunch of commercials for some kind of medication. <laughs> uh, I saw it. I don't really remember liking it all that much, but I remember Abominable. Shadow. There was yeah, he looks like a. Like a uh, like a redneck kind of uh, you know with a lot of fur, but he's very tall. Mm, and Lance Henriksen's like a fisherman or a hunter or something. It's like it takes place at these two houses, and the snowman's like attacking people. Mm. It's very like Friday the Thirteenth huh. kind of. Yeah, very weird. All right, so it's not a long like time Jeffrey ago. Combs. I didn't really. Yeah, stay Jeffrey with Combs, him. Lance Henriksen. Yeah. Sounds. I'll right. watch it. I'll give it a look. Maybe. Eventually. Thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, look for that. We'll episode, look into it. December eighteenth. And thanks for writing in. And if you, Thank you want to write in, again, we're at facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Talk to us about any of the current or past episodes, and we'll read your comments on the air. Also, Twitter, Sat Freak Show, and Saturday Night Freak Show at yahoo.com for email. So now we're going to do our world-famous and renowned wrap-up segment, where each one of us is going to get to sound off about sorceress. So that's going to begin with, Travis. Uh, I had my time for watching these <laughs> dime a dozen fantasy movies. And that there's time a dozen was, more of these? Dude, oh, there's fuck yeah. tons of these. <laughs> That's why they're so bad and there's so many. They're just fucking horrible. That's We forgot to mention the sword and the sorcerer. That one's not too bad if I remember. Yeah, I haven't seen that because That's I literally... Funny cut it off at some point because I'm like, like you know no. what fuck this they're not doing this I'll just watch Conan Dragon Slayer Legend uh, <laughs> you know the few <laughs> fantasy the there's barbarians like, there's fucking five no I won't even watch the goddamn okay. bar- I don't watch the Barbarian <laughs> Brothers <laughs> I think my brother did my brother loves fucking <laughs> shitty fantasy just like just like vampire movies my, and uh, werewolf movies my brother was Ator, fucking Ator the Fighting Eagle no uh 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 yeah, because I really don't. It's one of those things where I'm not sure the genre that I like that I will watch anything in that genre. I'm not no. I don't know if I have. And some people do have that. Like it's fantasy. What? I'll watch it all. Tom King. <coughs> What's that? What? What'd you I say? Didn't say a word. Yeah, it didn't. Well, it's got to be funny. You gotta say it. No, I didn't. I didn't say. Word. You said talking. No. I believe he said cocaine. No. Yeah, no? well, <laughs> only I know the joke in this. Well, that's not fun for the audience. That's fun for me now. Great, yeah, but, it's moving on. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, uh, I fucking hate this movie. Um, it's not even, like, somewhat entertaining to me. Uh, I mean, it was laughable how horrible it was, I guess. It was fun in the setting, but it's not... I don't know if I find fun in movies that I'm joking around with other people how bad it is. I mean, I like, I mean, 
I mean, I like some bad movies, but this is just a badly made movie. It's not just a bad movie. It's just like, holy fuck, we don't know how to make a movie. Like, we just don't know. We don't know what a story is. We don't know editing. We don't know ADR. We don't know special effects. We don't know. Our main characters don't know they're women. Dude, they don't know they're fucking <laughs> women. So, oh. you know, I, yeah, this movie is a pill to me, dude. <laughs> fucking very horrible. Ugh, it's so bad. I can't even recommend it as a laugh. Unless, if you find, I'm actually going to look for a Mystery Science Theater 3000. This has to be. You would think. You This has Although to. Although if they are a diamond dozen, I don't know if how they would get to this one and not other ones. Well, they do lots of other ones. They yeah. do the Death Stalkers and the Mystery Science Theater. This is prime for that It does show. have Jim Wynorski behind it. That's yeah, got to mean something. Some of his That's stuff gotta... has. Oh, the Death Stalker ones do, I'm sure. Whatever. That yeah. New Horizons or Concord Pictures even... or whatever. New World. Yeah. But I would even Except go for. The whole catalog has to be up for. True. I would even go for Death Stalker over this movie. It's just, this movie's fucking horrible. It's a blight. <laughs> it is a blight. <laughs> Oh, Sorceress. 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 Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of fantasy movies, but this one was interesting. Um, I, I can only, I think, recommend it. I don't know. I can't. I don't know how I would feel about this one, watching it alone. I, some of this movie is insane. Oh, you'd, watch you'd, you'd watch some of it alone. Yeah. Insane. Insane. You'd watch yeah. it alone with a bottle of lotion. I mean, oh, shit. Damn. We know what she's talking about. <laughs> you are in f- <laughs> And if you don't watch the movie, because they pretty much explain it to you, beat by beat. Um, it's, yeah, some of this is insane that they would, uh, that some of these scenes go on this long, and some of this stuff. But it's, uh, it's, it's so insane, it's... I, I almost have to recommend it just to watch. Like, because I don't have the experience of, of watching the other dozen that this dime will buy you, um, I, uh, I, would, I would definitely, I think I would recommend this because it's insane. It's insane. Can I actually There's make... There's a fucking pterodactyl lion at the end of this thing. Yeah. It shoots lasers and there's an orgasm scene that goes on for yeah. 10 minutes. Like, I, I don't think I can't... Listener, I cannot sit here and say you shouldn't see this because you probably should see this if you are listening to us now. So uh, I, I think I recommend it. I, I think you have to. It's so batshit crazy. You should see it. I laughed. I laughed. I laughed a lot. Uh, I recommend it. Go watch it. Did you have a comment, Travis? Uh, I was going to say something really quickly about how, like, an even better movie than this, if you want something really nice, cheap fantasies, watch on YouTube, the Dragon Strike companion video. <laughs> Dragon oh, Strike, that T- TSR board game. You've never yeah. seen that? No. It came with a, it came with a VHS movie. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking great, dude. It's so, it's like that, it's like this is the last vestige of really cheap fantasy movies in the board game. <laughs> like, wow. oh, it's great. Ooh. Yeah, and it's wow. it's got special features or special effects. Well, look for that at local garage sales. Yeah, dude. Or on YouTube, like I said. Sorceress. Sorceress. Um, Sorry. Sorry. I, I, I can't believe you guys made me watch this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, my favorite moment in the whole movie was when Sean was so distraught at the end and said... <laughs> Why doesn't the pterodactyl lion get to shoot lasers? Because <laughs> he's just growling. <laughs> he waited so long. That was she's, my favorite. She's part. laying waste to everything, and he's Arr. just like, Arr. and then he finally Arr. shoots lasers, and Sean's day was, I was made. Very happy. I was very happy. I was happy for you in that finally. moment. Finally, <laughs> it's like, what, what does he need to do? Hang out and fly in the sky? Just, didn't seem fair. Oh my god, the acting was terrible. The there was no, I couldn't follow the story. I know they tried. I couldn't follow it. I don't know who anyone's names was. Charles I don't know. I don't know what was down. happening. Truman. I think we pegged it down. I still don't know. I think we got I, it. I don't know. Pretty accurate. The, I still oh, don't think that guy's name is Baldor. <laughs> no. I swear to God, it's not. That is the only one I'm sure of. <laughs> I don't think Baldor. No, I don't recall that I'm name being sure said at all. Baldor. <laughs> I think they only say his name like once. Maybe. Baldor. I, just, I don't know. I'm not even going to look it up. I'm I think just going to go with it. Right? It's yeah, you might as well. I you feel let like, us know. I feel like if they had... <laughs> I feel like if they had picked one thing to be good at in this movie, maybe I <laughs> would have liked it. Like, <laughs> they were trying too hard to entertain us. Is I what you're like saying. Yeah. That is the problem. See, I'm, I'm not blind. I know I can. I like a good pair of boobs, like the next person. 
But I didn't even like their boobs. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, now I will actually have to stand up for her. <laughs> <laughs> that I was the best part of the movie. I think it's because they were so stupid. I don't. Maybe. Like, they were but supposed that's to be. Not what I asked for. No, but they were supposed to be like these awesome boobs. fighters. I would have been happy with some good fighting. Well, did you see there was something called a martial arts choreographer? <laughs> <laughs> there was. Yeah. Oh, one of those fight scenes. I can't remember. That was somebody's it. unemployed brother that needed a job. Yeah, but it that's was what that decent. was. For no, like it a, wasn't. Well, for this type of movie, I've seen worse. I this is at the bottom of the barrel of oh, fantasy. This is pretty this low. Is this is like I said, Death Stalker Two is fantastic <laughs> compared to I this. I just I wanted I one good you thing. Do. I wanted one good thing. Maybe good dialogue, good fighting, one good thing. And, uh, that interesting sadder so, uh, makeup. Things. Sifting through that for that nugget there was of the gold. Fucking right, lion. So when the lion shows up at is. the end, it, like the lion no. bat. He, no, no, lion oh. bat. no, oh. nothing. Oh, you're killing me. Nothing. There was not one good element in this movie. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I have to pass. All right. I concur. <laughs> well, okay, so I have trolled the depths of some fantasy movies, but here's the thing. Like I said before, and I think I keep saying this, like fantasy movies to me traditionally don't get along. Mm-hmm. So yeah. maybe, but this could put you in the headspace for why I'm going to recommend this movie, because I don't like fantasy movies. Exactly. <laughs> right? I like the Lord of the Rings movies. Okay, yeah, I don't sure, like the sure. Hobbit movies. Those no, bored the shit out of me. Horrible. Most Jesus. fantasy stuff just kind of, I it rubs me the wrong way in some way that I just don't understand it. They're talking about shit that's like, yeah, and it's all very serious. So somehow my entry level into this movie was, and it was in a weekend where I was watching like Conquest, and I can't even remember what the fuck else, but somehow. My wife was sick and we're sitting around or going through YouTube and watching these movies. And I'd heard about, you know, Sorceress and Conquest. And so we're watching them. And this one cracked me up, number one, because it's like <laughs> it's it's like it's a it's a fantasy movie, but it's also like a sex comedy. Kind of. Moment. Where right? Yeah. Where it, but it has like intentional humor and it has unintentional humor, I think. Yeah, it's inept as far as like Nobody can act. The writing is, uh, you know, I mean, it's just, it's, no, it's, it's, it's there, but it's like, it's overcomplicated. I think that's the thing. It's, there's too much going on. It's like, you just need to simplify this down. The reason why the whole Joseph Campbell myth structure, which you have to rely on when you do a fantasy film works is because generally it's simple. The, you know, when the kid has to leave his village to go slay the dragon, he's the only way to do it. Yeah, because of the prophecy, right? Yeah. This one's like too fucking complicated trying to invent its own mythology. <laughs> and it's like, who and what? And you're losing track of the, the reason I don't like fantasy stuff. <laughs> but this one I thought was consistently entertaining. Um, just as I was watching, it's like, you know, you can. Sometimes they hit, and most of the other, and I haven't seen Deathstalker too, but oh, most of the other shit. ones that I see, <laughs> they hit like a certain tone that they kind of carry with them the whole way through the movie. It's always the guys in the loincloths running around, and there's somebody else on horseback chasing them down with spears and throwing, you know, um, magic bolts at them or whatever the fuck. But this one was like just weird enough that it kept me interested. The costume designs are like just insane. There's uh they'll mix Egyptian yeah. Greek, the cultural we didn't even talk with, about that. Yeah, with the Middle Eastern yeah. with uh, Which that probably just, just proves that they didn't make anything for this movie. Yeah. They right. just it's took things that, yeah. oh, that was already <laughs> and then, in there. And like, then they took like closet. the great value version of Norse mythology. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's just Basically. bizarre. I, I think maybe that's what kind of kept me going. It's like maybe the other ones are more Modin. are more actually <laughs> production design. Or this one's like, what the hell? But it throws in then like then uh, a little uh like Chewbacca like monkey oh, dude yeah. with the animatronic shows up and you're like what? And then there's a horny uh satyr goat dude shows oh. up and you're like what? Then you know <laughs> then Moses shows up and he's got and you got two Playboy playmates who don't know that they're girls and have to show off their boobs as many times as they can. I mean you got the evil wizard you've got like go from like uh I like the uh the expenditure yeah I'm gonna say they spent money <laughs> on the uh, mar- the market, the bazaar yeah. scene, mm-hmm. like all of that was like I'm not. I don't want to say it was really well done, but it was like there was more effort put into that than more I expected. More attention to details, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It was like, huh, this actually had some kind of a budget. You know what? Yeah, there was the a budget for guys. A- it's four fucking sticks 
and a red striped blanket on top of those four sticks. That's your market. That's the bazaar. You just do that in a bunch of, it's like, there's like no budget to a bazaar scene. Any biblical movie is just, oh, like blankets covering sticks. You got to pay all <laughs> but your they, but they, it was just like It was like a movement. They had to go somewhere else to be like the center of the square. Yeah, and I, I did see that scene. Yeah, it was, like, like, if it was right. the 60s. Yeah. There was geography. Was Petra, right. There was geography to it. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that was the, impressive. And there was the brothel. That was all. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But I mean, like, it, and the fact that it just kept on, you know, introducing something new, it felt like every, you know, before you get bored, basically before you would be go like, okay, I'm kind of, eh, what's going to happen next? They would introduce like living dead guys all of a sudden out of nowhere in the living in the, in the catacombs. And then the complete what in the holy hell is going on when a giant fucking bat lion shows up at the end <laughs> and laser effects, people shooting stuff out of their eyes. All of that was, yeah, I'm not saying this is good, but I'm saying that this is a good, bad movie where somehow the thing is so bad that it rises to a whole nother level of entertainment. And this one totally worked for me. So is it a personal thing? Probably. I don't know. Sean, <laughs> Sean gets me on this. I one. You understand? I it, it is so fucking bizarre. It's a <laughs> lot of fun. I, when I was watching it with my wife, I laughed my ass off the whole <laughs> way through it. We were all laughing our asses That's off true. as we watched that it tonight. So I think there is something there. Uh, so I would recommend to adventurous freak show goers, mm-hmm. Sorceress. Just don't expect a good movie, but a fun movie because it's bad. There we go. Don't show so, it. Don't freak show it. Exactly. <laughs> so next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Travis, and it's going to be called... Giver 2, Dark Hero. <laughs> we're returning back to, back to the, the story of Sean, whatever his name is. <laughs> but, Sean. But no Mark Hamill this time. No Mark Hamill. Damn it. Aww. Son of a bitch. He was I the know, best. It's some sort of space here. armor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I forgot what oh, it was. So good. <laughs> yeah, uh, but the sequel is like closer to the books just because right, right, they have right. a less... The the budget's uh, smaller so they can be more accurate. No budget's smaller than the first one? Yeah. But, well, they don't. there's no stars at all. Oh. Not a single one. It's starring James Hader, the guy that oh, yeah, wrote Hader. the first David? X-Men movie. David, David, David Hader. Hader. David yeah. Hader. Whatever. The voice, the voice of, of uh, Snake. Solid Snake. Snake. Solid, Solid Snake. Solid Snake. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. also wrote X-Men, the first X-Men movie, and the Watchmen script that right. they right. used or whatever. So yeah. this guy's got geek cred. Geek cred. There you go. It impressed the fuck out of me. I've never seen a... This is the first time I ever saw, like, this guy was a superhero, but he also wrote superhero movies? Like, that's fucking geek cred <laughs> to the max, dude. Imagine that. So we're going to watch it. So we're evaluating that next week. And until then, the basement is going dark.